Welcome to Milwaukee Studios, and in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do the green screen slash chroma key effect inside of Panzoid Video Editor. So let's get it right into it. So the first thing is you're obviously going to need your clip. So you're going to need a clip that's going to go underneath your green screen element, and you're also going to need your clip that is your green screen. I already have those picked out, so I'm going to open those real quick. And now that we actually have that, you can actually start dragging the first one, which is not your green screen element down into the timeline real quick and I'm gonna actually drag the green screen one right on top real quick as well and now that you actually have that if you look at your viewer whenever you have the original clip visible with the other one on top you can just see the my face is normal and then as soon as you see that come in you can see all the green and stuff but what we want to do is we actually want to take that green out so that is called green screening or chroma key and how to do that basically go back to the timeline you're gonna click on that top one slash your green screen one click on it and then you're gonna go back up to your media viewer area and you're gonna go click on this explosion slash effects one and you can press literally on this plus button and you can search in chroma key and press that click onto it and now you're going to see this little drop down so we can actually animate all these elements if we wanted to for instance if you had a lot more advanced one and the color green kind of changed over time to be able to do that you have your enable disable your color selection your weights so um, these are just set to their normal defaults and you also have your color picker tool right there um, you also have your invert option so whenever you do it it will actually invert it if you turn that on you also have your mode, so this will show you a basic white and black mask version or the actual final results. So for instance, I'm going to show you guys the final result, but if we look at the viewer real quick, and actually I'm going to click on this color picker tool, and we're going to go over to the viewer. I'm going to click on that, and you can see now you can actually see behind it, and you can see the clip that we had underneath. But if I actually go over here, and we actually switch that to mask, now in the viewer it's literally just this white wherever you'd actually have the element that you can see and black wherever you don't see that element so that's the basics of that i'm gonna actually go back here you can actually find tweak these real quick and stuff like that so i'm gonna turn on result and i'm actually gonna start fine tuning these seeing which ones are gonna do the best results for me and with that now i'm gonna actually show you guys the invert thing so basically now that we actually have that selected or whatever, you can actually go and press that invert. And as you can see, it will actually keep the green now instead and actually only select the parts that aren't green. So I'm going to actually switch it back to off because we actually do want that. I'm going to go down into the timeline real quick and cut this real quick. So while I was watching it, I actually noticed in the viewer that there's actually, it's cutting off a little bit of that. So I'm actually going to go back over here. We're going to click on this one real quick and I'm going to change that parameter a little bit more. I, all right, it still has a little bit of green, but it's better to have a tiny bit of green than like be cutting that out and making it look really weird. So with that, that's the basics of actually how to do it. If you wanted to, for instance, on this one, it kind of fills up the entire screen. But what if you actually wanted to move this or scale it or whatever? Just make sure you go down into the timeline, click on it, go into the edit area. So go up back into this area. Instead of being on the effects, you're going to click on this little pen tool. And now you can actually press um, change the scale real quick. And you can literally just scale it down, change positioning. So your X and Y positions. Um, we'll do like a negative 50 to start off, see how that looks. Okay, let's try negative 200. Okay, it's going to need to continue going that way. Um, you can actually double click on these to change the value or and like just type it in. So that's a little too much. And or you can do a left click and just drag on these values to move them. So there we go that's a little bit better so if now if you look at the viewer I've had it positioned a little bit closer into that corner I'm actually also going to do a few different things that I would do personally just for fun to show you guys the final result I'm going to edit this a little bit more just to make it a little bit more fun for you guys to watch it now that we actually got that it's time to actually start exporting it so basically go up into this panel and press this little export one I'm going to do a device render um, for instance and I will do the frame rate at 30. We'll do very good, not extreme. We'll do MKV 
and we'll do 1080p because that's really what our footage is. I'm gonna press start. It should actually calculate it, do everything else real quick. So now that it's actually finished doing its render thing, you can press download your video. It'll open up a new tab. And as you can see right here, it's just gonna do that and it's gonna pop up a download for you. I'm gonna press open on this. Thank you guys for watching. And with that said, and this guys, is you the can final outcome subscribe, of it. like and press that notification bell to get notifications for next videos. And with that said, guys, bye. Not too bad if I do say so myself. And with that said, guys, we have a playlist over here with all of the Panzoid videos so far. And we also have a video over here that YouTube recommends just for you. And with that said, guys, remember, keep on editing.